Welcome back, everybody. You know what time it is. It's time to go inside TMZ for all of the latest news from Hollywood. And joining us all the way, as I like to say, from the West Coast, I can see him. It's our buddy Branson Quirk. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, you guys. How you doing? We are very well here. It's great to have you back with us. Let's get right to it. Always much to talk about. Celine Dion apparently will perform at the opening ceremonies for the Olympics. What do we know about this? Yeah, I mean, this is incredible news for Celine Dion fans around the world. TMZ has officially learned that she will perform at the opening ceremony this Friday at the Paris 2024 Olympics. TMZ learned that she has touched down in Paris on Monday. She's going to be prepping up for this all week. And interesting to note here, she's only going to be singing one song, and she's going to be paid a bundle for it, a bundle as much as $2 million for just that one song. We don't know exactly what song that's going to be yet. I'm sure it's going to be a big surprise, but it's not just $2 million they're paying her. They are also going to be doing an all-expenses-paid trip for her. There's going to be private jets. There's going to be boats. They're going to be putting her family in big housing as well, and I heard, and sources tell us that it's not cheap to do this at all, so they are, you know, Sparing no expense for Celine, D Celine Dion to come and honestly deserve for Celine Dion because she has been through so much. You know, it's been a rocky, rocky few years for her with stiff person syndrome. We saw in her recent documentary just some of those struggles that she went through in that documentary. There was footage of her, you know, seizing up and some of those seizures would, would happen for hours at a time. And it was just so hard and difficult to see. And she vowed to return them to the stage one day and that it would be a miracle for her just to get back on stage. So the fact that she is going to be there on stage on Friday. I'm telling you, me and my mom are huge Celine Dion fans, and I'm just so excited to see it. Yeah. But Brendan, I have to say, what song do you think that she's going to sing? Well, I think she's going to sing Private Eyes by Hall & Oates. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I, I have to say it has to be Titanic. It's got to be the Titanic song. I, 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 that's my favorite. It's called My Heart Will Go On, right? Isn't that what it's called? My Heart Will Go On, yeah. yes. <laughs> Some fan you are. <laughs> I know. But no, all, all kidding aside, I think it's great because she did have those health issues, and the fact that she's getting back up on the stage in front of a massive audience like this is really great for her, so that's nice to see. But moving on here, we want to make sure we talk about this. Lisa Kudrow is not looking back fondly on her entire experience while on the show Friends. Yeah, I mean, she's got some confessions. She sat down on Conan O'Brien's podcast and went through all of this and basically said that the live studio, studio audience that she was in front of during the run of the show while they were filming, she was not a fan of this whatsoever. She said that at all times they had been laughing uh, too long. Sometimes the show would take eight to nine hours just to, just to shoot one episode. So she said that between that eight and nine hours, this live studio audience would just be sitting there laughing at every little thing that they said on the stage and that, it, and that sometimes it wasn't even funny and that it would just cause comedic timing issues and that her co-stars would have problems a little bit with it. But she said that herself, she had the, the, the biggest gripe with this whatsoever, That so much so that she would look out at the studio audience and she would give them dirty looks at times <laughs> because they were just laughing too long. But I mean, hearing back to how much they were paid per episode, just for that eight to nine hours, come on, you just got to get through it. Yeah, sometimes I give the studio audience here very dirty looks. Oh, if I have to come out there. Good to I can hear those four or five people behind the camera sometimes when they're laughing. There it is. The, chor the chorus of booze. Thanks, Branson. You can, of course, catch TMZ TV. You know where. Our sister station, Fox Providence. Boo. Thank you. Boo. Still to come this morning.